Hey everybody, Isaac here coming in with part three of my series on uh, knives every American must own. Changing it up a little bit um, today, sort of. Um, we are going with a uh, more traditional style of knife. Um, today, uh, part three in our series, Knives Every American Must Own, is the classic slip joint style knife, the Case Trapper. This one here um, comes in a curly maple wood scale. It's got a black shield there, the Case XX made in the USA logo. Um, Case probably makes these in a hundred different handle scale variations. Um, two different types of steel. This is Case's um, proprietary True Sharp stainless steel. Whatever that is, I don't think anybody really knows for sure. Maybe 440C or something comparable to that. Um, but uh, this knife pattern, um, Case has been making it since at least the 1920s. Um, and as you may have guessed from the name, it was designed with the um, the trapper in mind. Um, somebody who goes out and um, traps games such as beaver, muskrats, um, those type of things for fur bearing critters that uh, one would skim and sell the furs to the fur market for cash. Um, this uh, I got this knife uh, a while back. It's got I love that that nice um, curly maple wood scale there. It's uh, super nice looking. Hopefully, if the camera f focuses in on it there. Um, but uh, you got two blades on it, the uh, clip point, which is your primary use blade and um, first to use for uh, opening up and um, you know field dressing or gutting an animal, whichever you want to refer to it as. And this spade blade is more made for skinning. Um, it has kind of a blunt tip up here um, so that uh, when you're taking off the hide of the animal, uh, like if you're using this you know, clip point that's made for piercing, you could pierce right through the hide and damage it and make your fur less valuable. Um, both uh, work great in uh, utility tasks. I'll um, show a bit here of uh, me uh, cutting up some uh, chicken breast to uh, get ready to make for dinner here. Um, now this knife pattern uh, case also makes in um, what they call their CV steel, which stands for chrome vanadium. It is a another, I guess, propri proprietary thing for them. They don't list the actual steel. It's probably like 1095 or something. But uh, they uh, they put mirror polishes on all of their knives. Um, this one is what's called the whiskey bone, and you can see uh, this actually has the same shield as the um, curly maple um, but yeah super nice knives they they're they're not locking like uh, the buck 110 they're slip joint patterns so you open and just fold it close there's no locking mechanism so you might have to be a little bit careful with these things but uh, you know they're still um, great knives should do you well all right, here we go, taking my uh, curly maple trapper here, and I am slicing a piece of wax paper in half. Nice and sharp, cuts that in half with ease. I'm gonna place a piece on my food scale there to weigh out some chicken breast for sort of proper portion sizing. Gotta watch the figure here. Uh, there we go, slicing open that plastic packaging course with ease and that's that nice true sharp stainless steel grab out a big old fat chicken boob and stab it there and slice right down the middle to cut that thing in half because these are some monster sized chickens and they have 14 ounce breasts and there we go just seeing that clip point in action so you can see you know what it's kind of like in uh, food processing and if you use this knife to uh, be out in the field and uh, you know actually uh,
putting it to uh, use for what it's made for. It's a, it's a hunting and uh, trapping blade for processing meat. And there we go. Split that thing right in two. Cut it down the center. There we go. Hack it away. Put that on a scale. All right. Now we're going to move to trying the spay blade there. So we're going to not pierce it, but kind of just move down the side. So that tip is on the blunt side. Would have been nice to um, uh, actually have the knife in front of the camera instead of just a piece of chicken, but live and learn. <laughs> there we go. As you can see, that blade is also nice and sharp going right through that chicken. So the case trapper is good for field and home. You know, they certainly shave, you know, bark off sticks just fine, just like the other knives. Get rid of this, this uh, knot here. It would be nice if I did it in frame, huh? So, yeah, as I said, Case has been making these since probably the 1920s. Um, Case was founded in the, like the 1890s. I think on their brand they say since like the 1840s, but that's just kind of when um, old grandfather uh, Job Case was born. They didn't actually start making knives then. It wasn't until the late 1880s or into the 1890s that... Uh, W.R. Case, William Russell, the son of Joe Case, uh, started, you know, getting into uh, the cutlery industry in uh, southern New York State and eventually moved into Pennsylvania, um, where they still make knives there today, the Case Factory in Bradford, Pennsylvania, my native state. So it's definitely cool to have uh, knives from there. Of course, there are uh, many other companies that make this pattern of knife, but... Uh, Case does it well and still makes their knives in the USA. Um, some some manufacturers, uh, you know, Schrade, they'll make a trapper. There's a brand Rough Rider out there that makes a lot of classic looking pocket knives. You can get them on uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Uh, but they're made in China. And a knife every American must own must be made in America. So you got Case doing it. Um, you also got a another company. Uh, it's actually, you know, a couple towns over in um, the uh, northern tier of Pennsylvania there, um, called Great Eastern Cutlery. That does a uh, does a fantastic job of making um, classic uh, slip joint patterns. Um, a lot of times they they have their own take on things, um, but. Uh, I mean, these are definitely like utility and uh, hunting tools. Um, definitely not something that you'd probably want to defend yourself with since the blade doesn't lock. But I suppose you could, you know, slash and get at somebody if you if you really needed to. Um, on the case website, they actually say that the, their knives should not be used as weapons. So if you need a self-defense knife, um, the case trapper probably is not it but it's still a handy knife to keep in your pocket um you can make it your uh you know dress up knife going to going to church knife um you know whatever whatever you need and you know the case knife the case trap will be there any utility task you need it work around the house the farm you know where, wherever uh, you may work the trapper will work for you plus you know if for some reason you break this blade on the job, you're doing, you know, general utility tasks, well, you got a second one. This will open all your Amazon boxes of all the other new knives you're buying, you knife addict. Now, uh, I guess uh, that about does it for the trapper. Um, definitely something every American should own. Go for the Case brand. They're extra sexy. Okay. Let me see baby.
Thank you. 